Fake name Nicole. Good morning. Good morning. Lay it on us, girl. What happened? So, I mean, I think, um, you know, so we were just unemotionally avail- unavailable, me and my best friend. We were like, why not? Signed up for a membership club to Taboo. And we just went with, like, our just side pieces kind of thing, you know. <laughs> and so just trying something adventurous. So we went in. Um, you know, it's like a couple's thing, kind of like a swingers thing, and they just had nice, like, just music, you know, sure. 90s, uh, rocking up, so we had, they had nice rooms, windows where you could, like, see through, and then we don't necessarily have to, like, hook up with other people. We went with our side pieces. We had an adventurous time. Like, it almost was like, I guess you could call that a threesome, although, you know. Okay, yeah, yep, but sure. Sure. Nice. Through, sure, three people hanging out having fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ab- absolutely. So it was pretty just fun. A, I mean, it's adventurous. Just a one-time thing? It was literally a one-time day. Never, ever did it again. Signed up one-time membership. We were like, why not? And that's, like, been our secret ever since. Okay. Oh no gosh. shame the game. Fake name Nicole. One second. You're in the running. Let me go. Uh, fake name Chris. Good morning. Morning. Your confession, brother. What you got for us? Uh, I'm almost for certain that my mom's cheating on my dad. Whoa. Oh, no. Why do you think that? Um, It's been, you know, a couple months now, and it was always normal to go through the pictures and everything together to, if a phone call came in, to pick it up for her or something like that. And now it's, she's going to the bathroom, you know, 10 times a day. When dad goes to work every day, she's trying to push us out the door and everything like that. And oh, weird. Like, if you can't see the pictures on the phone anymore, if there's a phone call, she's too quick, and then she's out the room talking to somebody. And really? Yeah, oh, my just, God. Yeah. Do you have, like, uh, siblings who have realized the same thing or, or noticed the same thing? Uh, talk to the siblings. They, 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 I don't think they want to see it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. God, I can't imagine. All right. Aww. Fake name Chris, man. One second. You were in the uh, running. Oh, my gosh. There's so many of these. Let me go. Fake name Abby. Good morning. Good morning. Lay it on me, friend. What you got for us? My old friend, uh, she ended up sleeping with one of my friend's ex fiances before they broke off their engagement. Whoa. Oh my so, God. so they were still like together and she hooked up with the fiance. Yep. How do you know? A mutual friend was yeah. aware and yeah. uh, they shared the information. Was it a one time thing or do you think it was a full blown affair? Probably one time thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Did you like the fiance or does it seem pretty on brand that they would step out? Um, eh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Fair. Fake name Abby. One second. You were in the running. Let me go. Fake name Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. Your confession for John Zilseeker. What you got for us, sis? All right, so I was on vacation, met a guy who became my away day. Nice. We were going back and forth with each other, hooking up in the process, and just hanging out. Well, my uncle died. I went to his funeral. We always knew he had a bunch of kids that we did not know about. And away they was at the funeral and turned out to be one of my uncle's kids. Stop it. So you were hooking up with your cousin? I did not know it for months. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. So, what's that moment like, fake name, sir? Yeah. And, and no shame to you because, like, it yeah, can happen yeah. to anybody. But you got, you, how many times roughly did you hook up with this guy? Probably like four. Four times. But we had to travel to see each other. So, sure. we were going back and forth. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, and so, when you see him at your uncle's funeral and put two and two together, what's the first thought that goes through your mind? I could have died because my sister knew that we were hooking up, so she also knew. So no. we made eye contact with each other and, like, literally could have died at the funeral. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. And have you – did you talk to your cousin or did you guys just kind of let it go? No. We have not said anything since. We just let it go. Did your, did your sister ever bring it up? All the time. She thinks it's funny. How does the family tree compare to regular folks? Is it compatible? It could have been. Sure, it could have been. sure. Okay. Oh hey, name Sarah. One second. You're in the uh, running. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, but like, I'm sure it happens more often than not. I yeah, think like, so, like, yeah. what, what are the odds? How would you even know? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, can we please call this uh, bachelor party one, uh, two, please? Um, fake name Steph. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Your confession. What you got for us? Um, 
Basically, I used to go to my husband's phone uh, at night while he was sleeping, and then I would wait like a week or two, and I'd bring something up that I shouldn't know about. <laughs> and he'd be like, he'd look at me, and he'd be like, well, how do you know that? And I said, well, I said, from when I was younger, I said, I uh, things come to me. I sure. said, and I see, you know. And he's like, no, no way. But I would consistently do it, and he never knew yeah. that I was going to his phone. So but it wasn't anything, you know, bad, sure. you know, but it was just stuff that I shouldn't have known. So we call this gaslighting, I think, is the medical <laughs> yeah, term. Uh, yeah. fake name stuff. <laughs> what was the reason? Well, nowadays, that's what it's called. Yeah. What was the reason he went through his phone in the first place, just to make sure everything was on the up and up? That, yeah, because he was a traveler, he traveled, but, you know, just, just being nosy, because sometimes he, he acted shady, sure. but he wasn't doing anything shady. Got you. Okay. Fake name, oh Steph. God. One second, you were in the running. Uh, make sure you vote for your favorite over text, 99338. Going to be hard yeah. this round. Like, fake name, Maggie. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Your confession, girlfriend. What you got for us? Um... So six years ago, I have cancer. They told me that I won't be able to have kids. Mm -hmm. And then it was just one time that I um, went out with one of the doctors, and then I got pregnant that night. Oh. It's, it's five years now, and he's the main doctor. He's my boss now, and he doesn't know that I have uh, we have a child. Wait, so this is like a boss? He's my boss now. Yeah. Yes. Oh Whoa, so, so he just like, he knows you have a kid, but has no idea it's his? Yes, correct. He doesn't know, nobody knows, everybody thinks that he's from a donor. Sure. And, yeah. Are you ever going to tell him, yeah. you think, or no? I try to, but he always says that he doesn't want to have kids, and he's happy dating someone else. I'm okay with him because we never have anything. Sure. But we have a child. Oh, yeah. Well, is it, is it hard? I'm a, I'm a Latina. Yeah. And my child looks like white, and blue eyes. <laughs> sure. And everybody says, oh, you look good because you go to bank. I'm like, to the donor? Yeah. 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 That's wild. Are, are you happy overall? I am. I am okay. because the doctor years ago told me that I won't, I won't be able to be a sure. mom. And now I have a Yeah, what a <laughs> gift. Yeah, Aww. okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, one yeah. second. You're in the running. I mean, wow. That, that, is, that is kind of a cool uh, gift for sure. Uh, let me go. Um, fake name Kim. Good morning. Good morning. All right, girlfriend. Lay it on uh, us. I walked into a room at the ba the bachelor party, and the maid of honor was getting down with the groom. Oh, oh boy, and it was so, her sister. So a couple. It was her sister. Okay, couple of questions. Fake name Kim. Why were you at the bachelor party? Would be my first one. Because I'm very, very, very good friends with the groom. Got you. Okay. okay. And so he ended up hooking up with his soon-to-be sister-in-law. Yeah. Okay. Why Would was she there? Yeah, that's a good question. Why was she there? She is also very good friends with the groom. We all went to college together. Yeah, apparently. That's okay, so when you walked in, did they stop? Like, what happens next? <laughs> no, they didn't see me. I walked in and immediately oh. walked back out the room. Yeah. Oh How God. long ago was this? About four weeks ago. Whoa. Oh, so new. When's the wedding? Uh -huh, in three weeks. Okay. Do ah! you do you think they've been hooking up longer than, because I mean, I would imagine that you yeah. don't just hook up randomly. Um, right yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like, they, yeah, it's been an ongoing thing. Oh, my God. Do you God. think that they're a better pair than him and his fiance? No. <laughs> Definitely <Okay>. not. <laughs> yeah. What what is your what's your plan of action? He's gonna kind of hold this to yourself or, or what's gonna go on? Uh, I'm in Tom Will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't have a plan of action. Yeah, because I think it's almost too like at this point you're four weeks removed and like you saw it happen but you don't have any like proof proof. It might be difficult to bring up, you know? Yeah. That's a yeah, tough and spot. He's so gung ho about the wedding, it's like Mm, I, like, I don't want to be that person that's like the ousted person because I said something. But on the other side, did, did the did the fiance, did she know you were going to be at the bachelor party? She did. And she thought yeah. that was cool? Yeah, she was fine with it. It was me and three other girls that were there, too. That just seems odd, doesn't it? A I don't know bit. what Very I would odd. do. Well, I mean, she did, she's not a jealous person at all. Yeah, yeah. No, I got and that. They, 
and we all went to college together. Sure. So we've known each other for like 15 years. Okay. That's just tough because it's like her sister is hooking up with the man she's in love with and going to marry, though. Yeah, so it's that, like, yes, that's... I would personally want to know. Like, I, I couldn't imagine like signing my life away to like marry somebody and then divorce is so expensive like uh, yeah she should know i'm sorry Let i think feel the same way her. i totally agree but you know how when the messenger is usually the one that's uh yeah this yeah, isn't yeah. gonna turn out well for me is, i know it's uh, not is obviously sister's trifling but has she always been trifling um she, yeah she's been a little promiscuous <laughs> yeah i mean nothing wrong with that but like do with people who aren't I would you make, know, like, a fake engaged. Instagram or something yeah. DM her. Okay. I don't know. All right. Or, honestly, blackmail the sister. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just kidding. Don't, I didn't say that loud. I'm not saying it's wrong either. I'm not, I'm not saying you should do that. Yeah. But Okay. Well, fake name Kim. Hold on one second. <laughs> you were in the running. My goodness. Uh, let me go. Fake name Melissa. Good morning. Good morning. Your confession's about your mom. What's going on? Yeah, so my mom, when I was in high school, had an affair with our music pastor. Whoa! Um, and, yes, and um, his wife found out, but my dad never found out. My parents were separated at the time, still married, but separated, and um, they, yeah, they had an affair. And his wife found out, my dad has never found Wait, out. Wait, so how did his wife find out, and how has your dad never found out? Um, so his wife found out because... Um, I think somebody at the church started picking up on it and put a bug in her ear. Mm -hmm. um, and so she started going through things and looking at details and tracking, like, when they were going places. Sure. Um, and one, you know, woman's intuition, I guess, yeah. two, two and two together and found out. Um, yeah. And so he decided that he was going to cut things off with his wife and be with my mom at the last minute, obviously, like, backed out. And so after a while, they ended up moving away. He went to another church, like, skipped to another church, and then reached out to my mom years later to try to get back together with her. Oh, my God. After my mom and my dad God. were living back under the same roof, he showed up at her job, which is like an elementary school, showed up at her job trying to get her back. And my dad is really mad that he's basically stalking her, not knowing that they've had a relationship together. Oh, that's messed oh, up. That's... I'm also surprised that yeah. his wife didn't reach out to your dad and like, be like, hey, just so you know, here's what's going on. So from what we've been told, he basically jumps from church to church having affairs. My God. Okay. Yeah, that's so she's used to it. Yeah. Yeah, she's used to it. That's so uh, that's okay. something that she just, she wants to put on a happy face. Yeah, and I make bet. Sure, like, she's like a bet. happy pastor's wife and everything's good. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. All right. Faith and Melissa, one yeah. second. You're in the running. Uh, vote for your fate over text, 99338. As an ordained minister myself, yeah. that makes me angry. Yeah. By the way, ordained minister who is four for four on weddings. You all, are. All the couples... Still together. Let's it's go. At least three that I know of, for sure. What happened to the fourth one? I don't know. It was at Pride in Memphis like oh. 10 years ago. I would oh. assume they're still together. They okay. seem like a lovely couple, but that's how yeah. that uh, works.